Nase gehauen. Who makes it? Free spirit. <laughs> <laughs> it's an absolute beautiful evening. And I've got it on tape. <laughs> oh, it was lovely dozing then. Oh. Whoever invented that app is a All week he's been getting people with his phone, with the app, with the uh, bite alarms, whatever bite alarms you've got. He just gives you a ringtone. And he thought it was great get, catching everyone out. I leave in the land a nod. And I've got him for a change. Hey! It was time to get serious. Day three arrived. And to a man, the anglers were right on it in their attempts to unlock the code of Gigantica. The lake wasn't giving up her treasures easily that's for sure, but the sign of a good angler is one who remains confident, stays focused and doesn't give up. The lads knew that coming to this lake at this time of the year would be one heck of a challenge and so often accepting this can in many ways make the difference. Experienced anglers know that playing the waiting game is all part of the big picture of carp fishing and even if they're not catching Sensible anglers will always be watching the lake, keeping their eyes peeled for signs of fish movement. Over on the road late though, Rob and Lee were again making the most of their opportunities and were working hard on extending their lead yet further. Could anyone stop this deadly duo? Stunning, stunning. Two bars of gold. Similar tactics, lads, or? Yeah, yeah, same, same cell, tip with a bit of orange on the bottom. Second fish you've had off that spot on it. Yeah. So, nice. I look absolutely no, mint. This one's got a bit of a shoulder on it, that yeah. one I suppose I've developed one as well. Yeah. That's got a good shoulder on it. Yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah. If he keeps growing like that, it's going to be a big old unit. It's going to be a lump, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Mint fish as well, absolutely mint. I'll keep the hat for another couple of hours, yeah, maybe. That's it. The yeah. other lake's going to do a big fish sooner or later, though, Mark. Isn't it? Hopefully, yeah. I mean, that's why uh, me and uh, I've been thinking about coming over here, but. We knew what you were up to the first night. <laughs> <laughs> Good angling. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Blow him a kiss, come on, do him so ain't you? Good angling, mate. Good angling. Nice. There seems like there's a bit of activity going on over here then. Over you two way. jumping about, what's going on? We're just after the third day looking for Simon's spots. Yeah. So we've been out with the with the uh, prodding stick and uh, it's gravelly, but I think we're going through weed. But certainly a feature out there. 
Is it as close as we've seen fish? Yeah, it's roughly where we've seen them, Si, isn't it? Yeah. I heard on the grapevine that a uh, sweet corn approach was coming out. Who's been telling? Who's been telling? <laughs> I got me ear to the ground. What's that all about then? Um, sweet corn's very digestible. Sweet corn's always been good on lakes which are quite deep and quite cold water. And I know, because a little birdie told me that in the winter there was sweet corn going in in reasonable quantities and fish were being caught which were excreting it. So that leads me to believe that it wouldn't be a bad approach given that anything anybody else is trying at the moment is not particularly productive. So given the digestibility, the scent and the rest of it, and obviously carp as we all know love sweet corn, I thought it might be a fair approach. I'll do a range find on it in a minute. Are you doing water? Yeah. Is it still, going? Coming up with? still going down, Pete? Yeah. Still, still changing, is it? 13 point something, isn't it? Sort of levelled out a little bit, isn't it? 13.4. That's where it was on the other lake. Is, it, is it 13 over there as well? 13.4, oh, exactly the same. But it was 10 when we got here, wasn't it? Peter said it was 10 when he tested it. How long that had been out in the water, Rob? Bang, it was gone. Excellent. Yeah. Just baited it up, got it all primed up, ready for tonight. Another fish has just bossed on my margin over there as well, so tonight's looking good. I think we've got it right now, we're fishing the margins, haven't we? Yeah. Same bait. Same bait, tipped up, sell, tipped with orange. I haven't seen this one yet. Don't matter, they all count. Yeah. They obviously we've been feeding while we've been having dinner. All the lines out of the water, it's done us a favour again. Yeah. Let's hope it works like this tomorrow night when we move on to the big one. It's all going to plan, mate, isn't it? I'm starting to get the gist of this place now. And we'll go over another go on this first, day, night, first night was a bit of a wasted night, not on our behalf, but we didn't start fishing until 10, did we? No. Solid bag, sort of normal thing. Common. Looks a good one. I've got a taper chop leader on. Have you? Yeah, like an ultimate one, but... What's that, 12 to 35 or something? 12 to 30, yeah. 12 to 30, yeah. yeah I put this on, it's ready for tomorrow to cast out. Yeah. And uh, it's still quite a chuck over there. Yeah. yeah. I'll clear a carbon struggling a bit, so I thought put this on ready for tomorrow. Tomorrow I've got a fish, I'm probably going to be fishing about 130, 140 yards tomorrow on Gigantica where I've been baiting. So... Oh, yeah, you know, you know, isn't it? Yeah. Stunning condition, all these fish. Yeah, they're going to be, uh, when they get big, they're going to be stunners, aren't they? Yeah, look at that. Especially, we've had all been heavily especially with this water quality. Go on. We had the old pan net now, should be in there. Yeah. <laughs> ah, great. Excellent. Job done. And the reason I've got head I don't know why he's got an head torch on, but I think he's nicked it out of my box. box. Because I was walking around with all my kit. Yeah, right. <laughs> Hold on, mate. Alright. Just had that one. Got another one on. Got the other rod on the other spot, what was already bagged up, all ready to go out. And that's just ripped off within seconds as well. It's both rods in the water 30 seconds and we've had a bite. I'm hoping there's more fish over there. Can really sort of maybe hopefully uh, keep them there. Sort of that one, isn't it? 16, 17 pounds, isn't it? Yeah. Don't matter. Fight well 
they yeah. put themselves such a good fight. Yeah, again, dropped the lead like we wanted to. You're playing them up in the upper layers. This one was on a solid bag. The other one was just a uh, single thrown out there, just, just over the bait. But this one was a solid bag. Bag could have hardly melted, to be honest. She's nailed. I miss my old uh, free spirit long landing net pole. Who makes it? Free spirit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a big difference being out further. Excellent. 14, 15 pounds, you reckon? Uh, probably not. It's like coming up a double, mate. Well, can you believe it? I've just getting my other rod out again. Got it back on the spot. I've just cast the second one. While I'm casting the second one, the other one's ripped off. This is basically 20 minutes, and we've had three bites. Uh, probably in it, it, it's like less than 20 minutes. It's unbelievable. We've got two, one in each net, and we're just about to get a second in the net now. Right, I'm going to put this on the tripod and uh, just let you see the fight. Well, it's a lovely evening. I just had three fish within 20 minutes. Managed to get the rods out. I'm sleeping under the stars tonight. I've just got my bed chair by my rods. I'm hopefully gonna nick a few more. I've just been out round and walked down the margin and baited up again. So hopefully tonight I nick a couple more to add to the weight. And then tomorrow we're gonna move on to Gigantica. It's an absolute beautiful evening. It certainly was a beautiful evening, and as the light came down on day three, it was once again Martian Merritt that would be looking at the leaderboard with the most satisfaction. Well pleased with these. These are the two biggest ones I think we've had. And now we're going over onto Gigantica and we're going to spank some big ones. To get a wang on our banger, 